Hi, I have a confession to make. In the month of March, I started seeing someone else. I'll give you some clues and I want you to guess what's her name. She was born on 21st April. She's from San Jose, California. Eric Juan is her dad's name. You guessed it right. I fell in love with Zoom. My 14 year old relationship with Skype came to an end. This is my confession to Zoom. Zoom, I'm sure you still remember that day in March, that fateful day in the month of March, a fellow Toastmaster had introduced me to you. And I was completely head over heels looking at your beautiful video calling facility. And it's human to make a comparison between Skype and Zoom. And your features such as whiteboard, recording, live on social media, your emoticons, especially the red heart and if it gets reciprocated, the more I explored you, the more I fell for you. I was so excited meeting you that I introduced you to my Toastmasters family. And then that catastrophic event, there were certain gate crashes who tried to create a scene. The entire world pointed at you. They thought you are somebody not with a sound character. But I'm so proud the way you fought back. You came up with facilities such as registration, waiting room, passcode. You made it a point that in future, there will be no gate crashes. I'm so proud of you. You know Zoom, since March till date, every day we spend three to four hours. And because of that, I have a confession to make. I have a pain in my lower back and I also have a bulging stomach. But everything is fair in love and war. I'm also amazed the way you can just play around with the background. We always meet at my place and I at times do not have a fancy background, but you can just sprinkle that magic and you can change the background. COVID-19 has definitely stopped travel, but you Zoom can take me to any place. The other day we met in the universe. Now, this is for sure, right? All relationship has to go through its ups and downs. And our relationship is not an exception. Our relationship becomes much more meaningful because it is tested by mother nature. Every time if there is a heavy rainfall, I can't see your frame, you can't see my frame. I can't hear you, you can't hear me. I feel scared. I also have to confess that I get annoyed when you have these mood swings. When I'm asking you, am I audible? And there's no response. When I ask you, can you see me? And there is no response. I also get annoyed and paranoid when I want to explain something and you interrupt. And the worst thing, video calling means video calling. And when I ping you to start your video and you reply, I'll do that later. And when you don't do that, I feel as if I've been taken for granted. But more than lows, I have to tell you that it's the up in our relationship that I enjoy the most. I love those conversations which are as smooth as silk. When you can see my screen, I can see your screen. And there are no background noises. Those kind of conversations are something that I will always cherish and I want to take it to my grave. Do you know what happened the other day, Zoom? A colleague of mine asked me that to log in via Microsoft Teams. And she told me that Teams is better than you. And you know what happened with her? When it was her time to speak, she was not audible. She too had to accept the fact that you are the best. And one of the reasons why you are the best is because you take care of yourself. Recently, you got a makeover and the makeover is called 5.2. I was not able to identify any changes, but then you whispered, check additional settings. Ah, and there you were with additional filters, 
background noise cancellation and touch up to brighten the face. I'm sure because of this, other girls like Microsoft Teams, GoToMeeting, Skype, they must be so jealous of you. I also realize Zoom that your life is not bed of roses. There are so many people in the world, they want to pull you down because of their background. But let me tell you something, I'm committed to you. In the month of September, apart from an official communication, I also bought a personal membership for $20. Since the time you came into my life, you have changed everything for me. You have taken me to places and you have increased my network. And we all know in today's time, your network is your network. Before March, I was only limited to Delhi NCR, but because of you coming into life, I got a chance to fulfill my childhood dream. And one of my dreams was to represent my country. Because of you, Zoom, I got an opportunity to represent my nation at the virtual global meeting that was organized in Canada. I have to tell you, you are a blessing in disguise. You are my new normal. Thank you.